Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of the Rift Breaker here on the Your Professional Walkthrough channel. So in the previous episode we were able to start establishing the mining of the uranium or plutonium or whichever one of the two goddamn resources we are here for. Now we still need to prepare for the defenses as we were able to extract a seriously large amount of uranium in this region and so of course uh that will trigger lots of lots of alien life forms that are going to be moving in and trying to deal a crap ton of damage to us now i'm hoping that i will be able to maybe put down some form of minefield out in about we do have mines set up also outside of the perimeter so my hopes are that putting down the additional mines out here a new technology has been developed is gonna help new us out are available for crafting we do have quite a lot of artillery towers i'm installing minefields as well I have no idea how strong this attack is going to be, but considering how much time they're giving me, I'm thinking it's not going to be any walk in the park. And so I want to make damn sure that we are well prepared to handle whatever the hell they're going to throw in our general direction. And I want to make sure that everything in that goddamn direction is set up to explode. So I'm going to be laying down the nuclear mines and all the other types of mines in order to make sure that we will delay or demolish majority of the alien life forms before they're even capable of reaching the base here. Because once I leave, well, there's no telling of what the hell we're going to have to go up against. Question is how many of these nuclear mines can I literally lay down? Because I'm kind of freaking out about the fact that if I built too many of them out here, maybe, just maybe, they are going to be removed from the other general direction, so who knows. Mines have been placed down, railgun is here, flamethrower is here, basic gun, flamethrower, basic gun, mines, mines. I don't know. A mini gun, for that we require titanium, we're out. Laser tower, palladium, lightning tower, plasma tower. Shockwave, uh... Well, we can try rockets. Need to install more of these cores. Because I did put up quite a lot of defenses up here. I can sense the ground shaking. I estimate a few thousand creatures running at our base. Not they are very close. Prepare yourself, Ashley. We've made all the preparations that we could. Let's go out and meet them. Oh, let's see what's gonna happen. Try to block their path through the here. technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Quite a lot of them. The base is already being attacked. There is a breach in our wall. Holy shit. I'm using everything in my goddamn arsenal here. Base is under attack. That is 
was one hell of a fucking attack. Got him. I'm not detecting any large groups of creatures. The question is how much of, of a beating base. we fended off the attack. Did we take on the other this? flank? Our jungle headquarters feel really cozy compared to this place. We've gathered enough uranium to construct the fusion field accelerator. Let's return to HQ to start the construction process. Now let's take a look at what the hell is going on over Remember here. That this outpost will remain as a permanent base of operation. We can expand the number of resource mines that are operational in this area to boost our economy. All of the resources produced here will be automatically transferred to our HQ as long as the orbital scanner is active. Long distance rift travel and transportation are not possible without it. We will be able to build additional bases up in here in case we will require additional uranium as I'm not really sure how much we will be able to extract here. The key thing is that we actually are refining the uranium here in these small little structures. And unfortunately, we don't have the necessary titanium to upgrade these centrifuges, which uh, burn through a crap ton of energy as is. And so raw crude uranium, we have 6,000 or we have 13,000 of the processed uranium and crude uranium. We have like 6,000. So quite funky. Okay, so. But what does that mean? Uh, that means that we will be able to hopefully go on and research even research more stuff. Completed. Okay. And I'm quite sure I will have to go into my base of operation. And there I will be seriously like required to uh, step up the defenses because uh, uh, we can upgrade the central building. But that's gonna trigger a hell of a, an attack and I'm kind of afraid of what's gonna happen to the outside outpost if we would decide to do so. Because seriously, like no joke, if we go there and we try to mess around with it, we can be in some seriously bad, bad situation. Okay, so uh, gather acidic yeast colony specimens. Has a night low. Uh, has a night concentration uh titanium carbonium tanzanite crude uranium that's we are currently located titanium is low yeah maybe we can open up the rift and travel over here and see what the hell is going on i believe this is the biome where there are those damn trees which uh create the snowy effect or the cool down effect Which, considering the fact that evolution and nature takes millions of years to develop something, if not even Rift longer. Successful. Warning. Nearby volcanic eruption detected. Watch out for falling debris. Then Riggs, that theoretically me means the that the volcanic action or the volcanic Affirmative. activity in I this region. Projectile hit prediction and I'm actively marking estimated collision locations. Must Array have lasted in this region for... We only have a few seconds to act. Shocking amount of okay. time. This mission is going to be intense. We'll have to dodge volcanic bombardment and search for titanium at the same time. Ashley, the orbital scanner detected titanium deposits hidden underground. If we Good. can gather enough titanium from this area, we should be able to study the geological composition of titanium rich ores okay. present on this planet. The next logical step will be to establish a permanent titanium mining outpost. That's what we want to do. That makes perfect sense. Equip the geoscanner and let's start hunting for treasure. There has to be something in here. Please don't let it fall into the magma. Okay, we did not get even 100 even- holy shit. Where the hell did you little shits come from? Okay, that thing I don't need to attack. What the hell is here? Still not dead? Okay, 
Okay, so they somehow are able to survive the rockets. Fire seems kind of pointless here. I'll just handle it with the plasma gun. Yeah, like since their bodies are literally made out of magma, makes sense that maybe explosions won't do the damn trick. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, you missed somehow. Damn, that actually was quite devastating. Holy shit, this thing almost like took down half my HP from one freaking strike. What the hell? That's bad, man. That's some serious damage output. How the fuck am I gonna get there without taking crap ton of damage? Think that took care of all of them. Come on. Where is this goddamn thing? Oh, come on. It was the goddamn meteorite which attacked you. Not me. Really freaking annoying, you know that? I know you want to play, but I don't have the time. Where the fuck is this deposit? And this magma is absolutely destroying this robot. No joke. 200, we are almost down the road. Like our target. Let him try to walk on top of the damn nuke. If it's gonna do just about anything. Besides pissing it off. Okay. So where are we thinking? Where are we cooking? What goodies are you hiding here? But at least so far all the deposits were titanium, which is positive. Okay, we have somewhere the artillery boys. They don't like the rockets that much. Which is okay. Not for them, for me. Need to find a way. Is he going after me? I think he is. Okay, two of these should do the trick. Man, that thing can withstand a crap ton of damage. Seriously, don't even want to think about all the upgrades I would have to conduct for our central base. Like, no joke. Yeah, I thought you guys might resist that. Somehow this one is not resisting the fire. I don't get it. You would think that this thing would actually resist fire quite well. Not 
another deposit. We're over 400 now. This will be just like a quick visit to the magma regions. Okay. Let's see if we can find it. Magma! Okay, really tricky location. They really don't want me to find those goddamn deposits there. So it seems. Come on! There you go. This one does not care. And this is one tricky terrain. Okay, that did the trick somehow. Totally did not realize that this can be studied. A new technology has been developed. But I'm quite new sure I want to do that. For crafting. Thankfully the splash damage is killing them too. Slowly but surely. Shit, I triggered everything and everything. Holy crap. They not wanted to wake up man. Okay, surprisingly worked out. And now I have to go all the way back there. Or find another deposit somewhere in these parts. And we have reached our goal. Mission accomplished. We've gathered enough titanium to be able to study its geological presence patterns. Still want to pick up this deposit second. here somewhere. Excellent. Let's queue up downloading of the appropriate titanium handling technology and start scanning for a good location for a titanium mining outpost. I'm quite sure we will require a crap ton of fire resistance. We should have a good location for a titanium mining outpost soon. <sighs> Question is what we will need to put down there. I seriously think that I will have to spend like half hour at least uh, re building the base completely from ground up alien structure awesome not really what i wanted but okay i'll take it crap Man, this thing is just chewing through it. Despite the thick exterior, it still has a soft and gooey interior. Just trying to avoid the falling rocks from the volcanic activity. Man, that must mean that the tectonic activity in this region must be brutal. And how are these trees literally not completely turned into charcoal? 
It's doing nothing but sitting in pool of magma. Wow, the machine gun is barely chewing through the small ones. Interesting. Okay, here we had some sort of separation of directions. Interesting. Come on. Come on. Holy shit. They're not seeing fellas here. Which is surprising. Okay, let's see what do we get. The magma activity. It seems to, be, at least for me, a little bit too much focused. I don't even know what we would do to protect ourselves against this type of orbital bombardment. Fergonites! Take it. I don't even know where the hell do we get that thing from, but I'll take it. Any resource which I see that I have only 1,000 something something of, I'm taking. You can bet your sweet tushy on that. And there's a crap ton of titanium in this region, apparently. Splash damage seems to be doing the trick. Arbonium. I don't know how much more do I want to be here. We can theoretically go and study that one more anomaly and after that we can get the funk out. Crap, did not want to trigger you. But a well tough cookie, I guess. Seriously, what is up with these meteorites? They're like literally falling down on top of me. Goddamn tree obstructing me. Titanium! Holy shit. not go too well for them I guess that did not go too damn well okay, there's gonna be something in here I do love getting these deposits especially when it's constantly this one resource which I so desperately need Okay, I feel like we haven't triggered this thing yet, and there's gonna be a crap ton of things coming in. Just simply because of it. So, let's see if I'm wrong or right. No bosses are appearing on top of me. The mines must have done something because a large portion of these worms have been eradicated by the mines. So good job there. Decorative flag. Don't really care for the decorations. 
if I'm being honest with you all. I'm just trying to use the rockets here. And actually land the shot and not completely miss. Okay, and after this titanium deposit, we're getting the bunk out. Beautiful. I don't want to wake up this guy. So, we will be jumping to the headquarters. I don't know what we are supposed to do in this nest, to be honest. It has a night low... Acidic East Colony. Fuck it, let's go for it. We do have the dedicated tiles which are able to resist the acidic soil. So therefore, the settlement which we would set up here or the research outpost... Technically speaking, should be able to maintain itself. Rift jump successful. I am detecting multiple acidic yeast colonies nearby. They are larger than the ones we have seen before, and are growing at a faster rate. Good. We need to get close to the central root of one of these colonies and construct a research station near it. This isn't going to be easy. Okay. We haven't been in the acidic region uh, since... What, two episodes back or something when I was barely able to reach the goddamn nest? That thing was absolutely brutal. Damn, there's a lot of you fellas, huh? Geothermal vent might be awesome because of power. But the flamethrower should do the trick here versus these shits. Okay, carbonium deposit. Where the hell is this goddamn colony I'm supposed to be finding? Shoot grenades too. Fun stuff, huh? I guess you did not expect that. I guess you did not. I have located an acidic yeast colony. Of course. Nearby. You can check its location on the map. Like entirely different uh, direction that I had it in. Because why not? Another geothermal, huh? Interesting. I don't know what am I supposed to scan in this biome that I have not scanned yet. I need to find that acidic yeast colony. How fast are we replenishing the ammo for this thing? I do wonder as well. Carbonium deposits are full. Iron deposits are full. Little orbital bombardment. We're 
we're just gonna deep fry everything including this little fella here apparently who was not really my target audience but oh screw it I see enemy with the local creatures too, so I'll just cook up anything and everything that moves. We have a meteorite moving in. What well, do we get? Geothermal. Okay, iron deposit. These little bastards are getting more and more resistant to these attacks. Like, I'm either gonna have to really step up my towers or defenses of the base, or I'll need to, I don't know, research even more resilient uh, weapon systems. Either way, we are kind of screwed and falling behind. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, there you are, you little shit. Ah, since I have both of you here. I guess I can do that. I see you. The shin is if you guys see me. What the hell did I just blow up? I don't think that was intentional on my end, but I'll screw it. Yeah, crap. Nice landmine. Holy crap. Okay. So I think the orbital bombardment did something. That was not what I wanted to do. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill the cluster or not. Okay, this looks like the central route of the colony. Now we have to build a research station close to it to start the scanning procedure. Remember that we can block the growth of the colony by placing anti-corrosive floor tiles around it. It would be advised to build our entire base on anti-corrosive floor. Okay. Build research station near acidic east. Colony doohickey. Mm, how do I remove this? Or cancel. I want to have it like aligned somehow. Operational. Acidic yeast scanning in progress. Great. Now we just have to maintain power to the research lab and let it gather the necessary data. 
My sensors are picking up increased movement around our position. We should prepare to defend the research laboratory. Great. Really haven't been given that much time. But okay. Wind is slowing down. Ah, oh, for the air fuck's is getting sake. dense. A fog is forming up. The wind is slowing down is the thing which pisses me off. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. Not as much. need to have at least some form of defenses installed here. Oh crap. The fog is clearing up. Please don't destroy that thing. I'm kind of afraid that if I build okay, they're just gonna start shooting everything and anything. literally trying to make sure that the root of the damn acidic nonsense will not die. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Stop shooting that thing! I don't know where the attack is coming in from. Okay. This is just gonna be these little shits, then the planker will do the trick. When it's gonna be something more. Base is under attack. It's gonna get a little trickier. What the hell are these little shits? Hold on, I need to fix my goddamn health. This thing is still not powered enough? Now what the hell do you want me to do, man? The only thing which literally comes to mind is to expand the base. Expand the... Fortification. And build myself a craft ton... Of wind turbines. Otherwise, I don't see this working out. Holy shit, look at all the...
attack. I clearly did not think of this. One of our walls has been destroyed. Oh no shit. Damn. That was brutal. The repair center would be appreciated. Most definitely. So let's try to install these. And fix the missing holes in the wall. Trying to see if I can accommodate like less of these or one central one. But I don't think that's gonna We're work halfway out. Halfway through analyzing the root of the acidic yeast colony, the data is already looking very promising. Ashley, since you built up our research station in this area. I've noticed a change in the growth vector of the acidic yeast colonies around us. It appears that all of them are slowly growing in our direction. That's very interesting. It looks like we've been recognized as a threat. The colonies are trying to devour our base. No shit. Thank God for large flamethrower deposits. Base is under attack. Wow. I am not prepared with the defenses to handle all this at all. I would need to expand the base even more. Don't destroy the damn root. Damn it. Yeah, that was scary. Can I? I want to fill in that gap. These ones can be destroyed. I need to expand the energy production in our defensive grid. Yeah, this fortification should have been kept probably, but fuck it. We are a little desperate here. I cannot build the flamethrower here or it's gonna literally destroy what I cannot afford it to destroy. And this one has range to hit the damn root. So that's no go. The research lab has finished gathering data. Objective completed. The data that we've gathered proves that this life form can digest even the smallest traces of palladium. Palladium normally doesn't react with most acids, but this life form uses a highly concentrated form of fluoric acid that is heated up by the creature's metabolic processes. We can program the orbital scanner to analyze the growth patterns of the acidic yeast colonies. This should help us in finding palladium deposits that these colonies are moving towards. Affirmative, Ashley. Orbital scanning in progress. Analyzing acidic yeast growth patterns. Orbital 
Initial scanning finished. We have found something interesting. There are a few areas within the acidic plains that are entirely surrounded by the yeast colonies. Spectral analysis confirms that palladium should be present there. However, the yeast is actively avoiding these zones. Interesting. If there's palladium there and they aren't interested in it, then something might be preventing them from growing in that area. We should prepare for the unexpected. It looks like the weather is calming down. Wind is getting slower. Which means our energy production is going to go to shit. Wind A new species discovered. Wind turbines are less effective. Loving it. Since we have built nothing but wind turbines in here. And this acidic colony is absolutely massive. Come on, I know you can take it. But I want to see it burn. The mission has been completed. I'm not gonna stick around in here since not that much is gonna be able to be achieved here. We're not gonna be gathering anything. No rare resource. Palladium is in other deposits. So we need to fudge off and find some better place. Wind is picking up again. Okay. I think we can even destroy the root here. Can I even destroy that damn it? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, well, fuck it. This base is gonna be decommissioned as is. So, uh, 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 uh. Gather palladium ore. Yes, 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 yes. I don't even care that we're losing carbonium and the iron deposits because we are just gathering it in multiple regions, multiple locations multiple deposits and even these additional excursions into the other regions are yielding results of those basic construction resources or materials. Corrosive gun! Orbital scanning indicated that there should be multiple underground palladium deposits hidden in this area. We can use the geo scanner to find them. It's actually quite calm in here. That's a bit suspicious, don't you think, Mr. Riggs? Yes, that is abnormal. I'm not detecting any acidic yeast colonies in the area. The local fauna population also seems to be smaller than in the other areas of this biome. Wonder why? What's lurking here? I have located a large underground palladium deposit. I have marked its location on our map. Great. The ones we've been finding so far were really small. Maybe we can find something that we can place an automated mining station on. Okay. What's this? The geoscanner detected a hidden cache of explosive fluid underground. This functionality is normally used for detecting minefields. There are exploding mushrooms underground. This must be the reason why the acidic yeast colonies are not present in this area. Let's be careful here. No? Have we already been exposed to these things? Quite nasty. Let's 
clear them out one minefield at a time. Where's my deposit? Fuck, the one is over there. It has to be somewhere in here. Is that palladium? Yeah, buddy. Okay, 28. You gotta be kidding me. That's clearly not enough. Crap ton of bio material, though. We get all of them? Most of them. One was left standing. As a precautionary tell to the rest of them. Do not fuck with me. to clear this out. Man, you guys are annoying in this region. Have I told you that? Holy shit, that's a big ass zerg. We did take a crap ton of damage there as well. Need to heal. Where is this fucking deposit, man? Man, these things are tiny. Like, the yield on these things is just almost not worth it, man. Meteorite crashing down. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go towards the large deposit since it's in the opposite direction from once we are going or where I'm headed. So, funk that scanner. Seems to be the initial zone in which we landed. Be careful with all this acid and BS. Okay. Whatever was here, I was able to kill. Come on, you little shit. Hey, where the hell did you guys come from, huh? It's not so fun when I'm shooting back at you, huh? Palladium? Palladium. Get in more of these freaking bastards. Here, have a rocket. Okay, let's go not go into the goddamn minefield, I guess. I went to press seven to bombard those ranged ones. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Let's go. Seems like a novelty, but it does the job well, so fuck it. Let's use it. Uh, it was a decent deposit, but uh, nothing to write home about, I guess. Minefield galore. 
It's unfortunate that these things cannot be destroyed otherwise. Man, that's a lot of these suckers here. Let them come. Get nuked. I, God, I love this biome and all the other ones. Like, the amount of work gone into this game. Holy shit. This truly shows that someone had the passion and the skill to pull this together. Like, holy crap. This is one of my favorite games of this year. Absolutely no doubt about it. Come on, there's a deposit somewhere. Question is of what and where. The palladium deposits that we've been finding here are too small to build a mining station. However, we've learned how to find it. The data gathered with the geoscanner can be fed to the orbital scanner to search for mineable palladium. Our mission here is complete. We can return to headquarters to start preparing to build a palladium mining outpost. Understood, Ashley. I'm starting the orbital scanning procedure and searching for mineable palladium deposits. In the meantime, we should research palladium handling technology to be able to actually construct palladium mining stations. I thought that the, just like the rare material mine will do the damn job. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it cannot be used for every goddamn resource. So yeah, I think we're gonna leave it off at this point. Yeah, the next one hopefully we'll be able to resume whatever other activities we plan on doing. There's still a crap ton to be done. And if you wanna see how it's gonna turn out and all that jazz, my sensors are indicating an imminent release of acidic gases. Then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. As most likely, my upload schedule is going to be the all over the goddamn up. place right Watch now. Watch out for corrosive gas. So the best way to stay up to date on all new content is to hit those buttons. And uh, yeah, we will shape lizards today. And hopefully I will see you all in the comments or at the next one. The eruption is over.